Mi abuelo está en la parte. Gracias, gracias, José. Ah. Podemos, podemos mutear ahora sí. I am wondering if we will be able to see what is happening in the room. It doesn't yeah. it doesn't look like money. Um go with plan B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Um so I'm gonna ask us to do something that some of us may not have um prepared, you know. Is it possible for us to turn on our cameras? If you would like to participate, I would like we will need to see everyone in the room. So I'm going to ask us now if we will turn on our cameras to see the beautiful faces, including myself. Monique nos está pidiendo que encendamos las cámaras si queremos participar para ella poder vernos a todos nuestras hermosas caras en, en la sala virtual. Is anyone else prepared to show your face? No? All right. Fabian, um, I am going to modify this exercise to uh, relieve us of the need to see faces. Um, but now I would like to ask if every if there's anyone who will refrain from using voice since we're not going to see faces i'm going to shift it to audio fabian could you ask everyone if there's anyone who would not like to participate mm, monique nos pregunta si hay alguien que no quiere participar eh, y ella va a reorientar el ejercicio hacia audio eh, si no queremos mostrar las caras, pero si alguien, sub, sub, sub. sí, José. No, I, I want to participate. I just want to know if I can have like one minute to grab some water. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so be right back. Okay. All right, so let me share with you what we plan to do. Thank you, Tomás. This exercise um, I have found to be quite, I mean, interestingly successful with students um, in the college. So I've been an adjunct professor for a little while and um, I always wanted to let the students know that everyone in the room is being seen and heard. And so one of the first things that I always challenged myself to do was to learn everyone's name as quickly as possible. And sometimes you would have 20 students, sometimes you'd have, you know, just variations of students. And over the years, you have a lot of students. But it's essential, it was essential for me to make that connection right away so that we all felt we were a part of something. And so I, I, I had to come up with a way, not only for the students to learn each other's names, but for me to learn e the students' names. And what we would do is we would start off in a big circle. No one really knew anyone else. And after introducing our names and what, you know, where we were coming from, what, what states, um, Fabian, I'm sorry, I should let you translate a little bit, yes? Um, supongo, um, eh, Monique estaba hablando de su experiencia como profesora universitaria y de, y de que con los años ella ha tenido va muchos estudiantes y una de su, y el ejercicio que, que ella está, de la, de lo, de, de, que nos está hablando, está basado en su filosofía de, de hacer sentir a los estudiantes que son escuchados eh, y una de las cosas a, a, a las que ella, se, eh, que ella se esfuerza es la de aprender el nombre de, todo lo, de todos los estudiantes. Eh, esencialmente esos eran los elementos que Monique estaba hablando. Puede que me haya perdido algo, pero es esencialmente ese ejercicio de hacer al otro eh, hacerse eh, 
hacerlo sentir de que es escuchado, de que es visto, de que es respetado. Y una de las cosas que Monique se esfuerza por hacer es aprender los nombres de, de sus estudiantes. And so the main thing that I learned is that part of memory has a lot to do with being fully present, fully present in voice, fully present in seeing others face their movements, everything about them. So um, in my dance class, what we would do is we had this exercise and we're going to modify it for our virtual room. But just to let you know why I wanted everyone to try to turn on your cameras. Um, it was basically uh, an exercise in association. So the first student in the circle would say his or her name and make a gesture or a movement that would be the visual association. And so we would not only have audio, but an actual movement that would associate with that person. And the group then would repeat the name and the gesture or movement. Could you share that again? Sí, eh, el, el ejercicio que, que Monique eh, tiene experiencia con sus estudiantes en, en un círculo eh, y, y que se basa en la idea de que la memoria depende mucho de, de, de la de la totalidad de la información que recibimos eh, y el ejercicio eh, que ella utiliza es en, en, en el círculo de estudiantes, el, la, el primer estudiante dice su nombre y un movimiento y luego el círculo eh, repite el nombre del estudiante y el movimiento que el estudiante realizó. And so now what we would do is we would go around the circle. Each student would say the name, make a gesture the group would repeat. And then the second student would say his or her name and make a gesture. We would repeat it, but then we would go back to number one and add the two together. So we would say the first name, make the gesture, then say the second name, make the gesture. And then we would go to the third person. The third person would say a name and make a gesture. We would repeat it, but then we would go back to the beginning say the first name and gesture, the second name and gesture, the third name and gesture, until we went all the way around the circle, creating a phrase. Y vamos a empezar. La primera persona dice su nombre y el gesto, y luego la segunda persona, y luego repetimos el nombre y el gesto de esa persona. Luego la segunda persona dice su nombre y su gesto, bueno, hace su gesto. <ríe> y repetimos en el círculo y volvemos a la primera persona y repetimos el nombre y el gesto de la persona eh, y el de la segunda persona. Y luego viene la tercera persona, dice su nombre, hace el gesto, repetimos esa persona y repetimos después el orden de manera de poder crear una frase. I think I, I, think I got that right. I trust Carol, you. Car yeah. Carolina is saying it's not in her head, so I guess I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, amazingly, within 45 minutes, we would learn the names of 20 people. And it was amazing. What I would then do is I would break it down, break it, break it into visual and voice, so that I would ask a student, okay, now let's just do the movements without saying the names. So then we had a choreographed phrase. Then we would say the names without the movements in the order. And then I would ask a student to try to say the names and the gestures all the way around the circle, one person. And amazingly, I would get students to do it. Y eh, es, es, es impresionante la manera en que la, 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 la gente recuerda eh, la información de esta manera. Eh, y eh, Monique entonces le, le, le pide a los estudiantes hacer eh, eh, repetir solamente los gestos eh, 
o repetir solamente los nombres y después pedirle a después pedirle a un solo estudiante repetir toda la información de todo el mundo y es realmente impresionante cómo eh, los estudiantes son capaces de, de, de retener la información. And so now that we look at the room in Mac Macuba, we just got a nice pan of those who are in the room. So imagine we would learn everyone's name in that space within a matter of, 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 min of minutes. And so without using the, the visual part, I would like for us to try use, doing the audio. So if you will, please at least turn on your audio. We're going to see if we can say these names and start to remember who's in the room. So just your audio. It might sound a little loud. We may hear birds chirping, but that's okay. Um, Monique, I, I, I guess because I'm not sure if everybody sees sees the screen in the same order, so maybe you can call the people. Yeah, I'm gonna call them. Oh, okay, so I'm not, okay. we're not gonna do a visual. Okay, okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna try. This is the experiment. I will call the name, first name of the person who we are trying to remember. And you're going to clap your hands for the number of syllables in that name. I will do it first, and then everyone will repeat it after me. For example, my name is Monique. There are two syllables. So as I say my name, I'm going to clap twice like this. Monique. And then everyone in the room will repeat it after I say go. So let's do a test. I go. Monique. Monique. All right. Now we're going to try to do this all together, even though there may be some lag time. It's okay. We're going to make it work. Let's try to do it together. So everyone, after I say go, then you go. And let's see what happens. I go first. I say go. And then everyone goes. No, eight. Go. No, eight. That was very close. Let's try it again. No, eight. Go. Go. Wait for the go. Wait for the go. That's going to be very important because we can't see each other. So wait for me to say go and then go. Let's try it again. No, eight. Go. Monique. Much better. All right, here we go. As we add a name on, you're going to repeat, but wait for me to say go for you to go. All right. Monique. I'm sorry, here we go. Monique. Go. Monique. Fabian. Go. Fabian. Monique. Fabian. Go. Monique. Fabian. Excellent. Go. Monique. Fabian, Jenny, go. Monique, Fabian, Jenny. Carolina, go. Carolina. Morning, Fabian, Jenny, Carolina. And then we repeat. 
repeat that one. We're going to repeat because we need repetition for memory. Let me go again. <laughs> Monique, Fabian, Jose, Carolina. Go. Monique, Fabian, Jose, Carolina. All right. Now, because we don't have the visual, we have taken away half of our senses. Yes? So you have to listen closely to the song that we are creating. Imagine it is a song we are singing. Let's try this again. Listen. Monique, Fabian, Jose, Carolina. Go. Monique, now let's do that three times in a row all together ready go Everybody, Ingrid. Again, go. Ingrid. So after Carolina, we have Ingrid. I go. Now I'm gonna try to sing it a little bit so that I can get a little rhythm in there. Moni, Fabian, Jose. Carolina Ingrid. Everybody, okay. go. Moni, Fabian, Jose, Carolina Ingrid. <laughs> All right. This, is anyone finding this challenging? Just say yes or see. Sí. Yes. All right. Does anyone feel like they have this set already without looking? Would someone like to try? Moni, Fabian, Jose, Carolina, Ingrid. Ingrid. Who would like to try? Me? Okay, go. Monique, Fabian, Rose, Carolina, Ingrid. Excellent, Tomas. One more person. I can do it. Go. Monique, Fabian, Jose. Carolina Ingrid. Excellent. Now you have to believe that you can do it. If you start out thinking, oh, I can't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember. You've already defeated yourself. Believe that your mind can do it. Let's add another one. Is it Lord is or Lord? It's Lord is. Lord is. All right. Lord is. Go. Lourdes. <laughs> my Sorry, mic, was... <laughs> my mic is open. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so after Ingrid, we have Lourdes. Everyone say Ingrid, Lourdes. Ingrid, Ingrid, Ingrid Lourdes. 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 All right. Everyone say Carolina, Ingrid, Lourdes. Carolina, Ingrid, Lourdes. All right. 
Now let's try the six. I go first. Morning, Fabian, Jose, Carolina, Ingrid, Lourdes. All together, come on, come on, stay with us. All together, everybody. We can't see your face, so it's okay. Ready? <laughs> All together, let's try it three times without looking. Close your eyes and see if you can get it. It's okay if you have a little glitch. It's okay. We we'll do it three times. Ready? Go. Morning, Fabian, Jose, Carolina, Ingrid, Lourdes. Go. All right. Can anyone repeat that? Those are six names. Can I call on someone? without you raising your hand? <laughs> Since we can't see your face? Yes, Marvin, we, we can. Marvin? I'm gonna give you permission. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Fabian. Marvin, what about you? I think Marvin is on the go right now. He said in the chat that he's kind of moving in between communities, so he's gonna okay. be right now. Okay. How about Lourdes? Lourdes? <laughs> I think we're in the room now. Hmm. Are we in Makuba? No, no, no. They're muted. Okay. Yeah. All right, since we can see Makuba, everyone, actually, let's shift gears. Look at Makuba. We had another exercise that had to do about uh, observation of the participants in the room. So take a look at what is happening. Monique, if you want to talk, you have to mute yourself. Somebody was having a music on the background and I mute everybody. If you want to say something, you have to unmute. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Did you guys uh, hear the part about observing the room? Yes. Okay, so keep observing the room. What I would like for you to focus on are the gestures, the movements of the body. Because what they are being asked to do is to not use their voice. So they won't be hearing each other speak and we won't hear them speak and we won't hear each other speak. But I would like for you to focus on gestures now. And from this point on, I would like for you to remember just by the movements, what you think is happening. So I'm going to ask you what happened in Santiago in the room? What are they doing? What did they do? And you have to figure that out just by observing. 
with no sound. Could someone give me an interpretation of what you think is happening? Uh, give yes. Um, well, I, I think they are, um, like the, it is a variation of something I've done before, but it's very interesting to see because there's a lot of information because they're trying to communicate between themselves but uh, it's like you have more than one person that can tell you something. So you have to receive, but be also open to listen if anyone else is, is sending you some type of energy reaction or, or something. Yeah, so uh, it's like uh, at the beginning, it was just one, one by one, but then suddenly you could receive something from one side to the uh, and the other. So it was like multiple communications at the same time happening. And uh, so it was uh, interesting and, and to see that, that they had to send without uh, uh, verbalizing. It was just, you know, like leaning forward, uh, clapping, uh, using the eyes and things like that. Eh, Fabián, si te voy a pedir que lo traduzcas. <risa> <risa> bueno, yo, yo creo que yo, yo, lo que voy a decir en español es lo que yo estaba viendo, pero es lo mismo que tú estabas viendo y el, 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 la, la gente se estaba tratando de comunicar y ellos no podían hablar, y, eh, pero estaban recibiendo mensajes de diferentes personas y la comunicación entonces, y estaban pasando ese mensaje y la comunicación... Eh, era más extraverbal, con palmadas, con, la, con el rostro, con el eh, inclinando el cuerpo hacia adelante. Eh, y, eh, y realmente es in interesante de ver cómo se ha desarrollado el ejercicio. I, I think that's what you said, Jose, I'm not sure. <laughs> But that, that's what I saw. Yes, anyway. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we, we said the same then. You okay. translated okay. and said your idea. Excellent. Uh, would, would anyone else like to? Thank you, Jose. That was, yes. Uh, would anyone else like to add something that you saw or your interpretation? What about the emotion in the room? Could you tell emotion in the room? Yes. <laughs> What did you see? Excitement. There's a lot of excitement going on. Mucha, mucha, mucha excitación, digamos, como eso, juguetón, como dice José Emilio, playful. They're having a lot of fun eh, and very, eh, very focused on what they're doing. Están, se están divirtiendo y muy concentrados en lo que están haciendo. Yes. So how do you think that do, uh, doing an exercise like this can build community? Really quickly, somebody, we have 60 seconds. How does this help to build community with people you don't know for, and you meet for the first time? 
¿Cómo un ejercicio de este tipo ayuda a, con, a construir comunidad? Eh, y tenemos unos 60 segundos. ¿Alguien que quiera hablar? Construir comunidad con alguien que no conocemos. Yes, Carolina. Um, I feel like there's the part of it is the sense of play that creates community, right? Um, also the eye contact, right? They had to pay very close attention to each other. Um, so I feel like uh, the eye contact, the having to uh, focus on them, and then the sense of play as well. Like they 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 had a good time, right? That um, also forms community. Thank you so much. Anyone el el sentido del juego y también estar muy atentos a lo que el otro está haciendo eh, a, ayuda a crear esa, esa comunidad. Según Carolina. So I would like to just add in our last seconds, uh, interaction with with each other, being present with each other, responding to each other, communicating with each other, seeing each other. Um, and for, for me, it really highlights the importance of the body as a tool for communication, even when we don't have the verbal language. Yes, we can be from all different countries in the world, not understand each other's verbal language, but we have the body to communicate. And we can also find joy, yes? All right, thank you everyone. I think they may be calling on us soon unless someone would like to say something. Gracias, Monique. Creo que están todo, they are still saying something, like probably that's the last participation, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask you guys a question. Reflect on why you chose to not turn your video on. I don't need an answer, but I would like for you to reflect on that for yourself. Because we're in a conference called Open Channels. Um, I would like for you to reflect on a choice um, to leave your camera off. But if anyone would like to answer, you're free to answer. And I, I say I say that um, in in a very loving spirit because, um, you know, not all of us were able to make it to Santiago, Cuba, and so the way that we have to connect with each other is via this technology. And there are pros and cons, obviously. But sometimes when it's all that we have, <clears throat> um, we, we're grateful for it. And um, I, I have to admit that I, I have a, a small sense of longing to see the faces behind these names even though it is your right to remain where you are, your privacy is yours. But I will admit that um, I have a small longing, you know, just for the record to, uh, to see these faces. Thank you, Tomas. We're, we're almost ready. We're finishing our last answer. Okay, gracias. Gracias. We're almost finished. We're finishing up our last answer. Can you turn? Minute. Can you turn on Macubas? Uh, if if Monique is, is done here, we can listen to what you're saying over there. If you turn on Macubas, sure. uh, yeah.
we're we're finished gestual donde, donde donde el contacto con el otro era a nivel de gesto y no de mirada y entonces se generalizó en todos a su, el asumir la norma gestual luego se, se asumió la norma auditiva entonces ya el contacto ya no era ni con mirada ni con cuerpo era solamente a nivel de sonido y todos asumieron como masa esa, esa primera propuesta que estaba en base ya a un error, a una ruptura de esa norma inicial, de esa segunda, y, y, ver, y ver como cada, como el colectivo, el grupo, fue imponiendo eh, nuevas pautas, totalmente distintas, sacadas de la nada, así inventadas, Uf, aquí, esta, esta nueva pauta, y todos iban sumándose a ella, sumándose a ella, hasta que venía alguien más y decía, bueno, va a volver a romper, y rompía de nuevo, y rompía de nuevo. Pero eso también es algo que nos que, que, que nos pasa en nuestras prácticas diarias. Incluso no, no solamente de los, de los procesos de, 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 de montaje, sino a partir de la reflexión de, de, de lo que hacemos y de la memoria de lo que hacemos. Y de estar, ser conscientes de cada uno de los momentos en los que hacemos las cosas y cómo incluso podemos romper con nuestras propias memorias para construir memorias nuevas que son las que luego vamos a volver a romper y a volver a romper porque es un ciclo interminable so Fabian can translate maybe Fabian can translate yes um, I, I really summarized better strong and uh, uh, apparently the, the the exercise uh, and the according to the observation that we did uh, there were some things that we didn't, we, we weren't able to get from the, from what was happening in the room. Uh, and the, apparently they were changing, like within the group uh, and within the, the exercise, they were changing by, by themselves, uh, the rules of the exercise. Uh, uh, on, 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 during the development of the exercise, even though they had uh, like a set of rules established, they were, uh changing those rules a little bit uh during the de the development of the exercise and then uh, the intervention was connected that 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 what happened in the room with what happens like in real life during the creative processes and how we uh, start with a set of rules on on how we are going to work and you know reality uh kind kind of uh force you to change a little bit and to be flexible in the way you you address every uh obstacle that you can uh find on on the way on on the creative process uh and and that and then he was he was also connecting that to the way we um create our own memories and our own rules uh, in life that's a really summarized version <laughs>